let me ask you something. Have you ever been distressed? You know, that moment when that despair or anxiety or, you know, just everything piles on. There's that sorrow and it's painful. There's something going on in your life that is just really most likely hit you at a time that you didn't expect it. Well, on a recent trip down to Universal, we were on a ride. It was myself and my daughter and my wife. And in 2018, I had neck surgery. And the doctor was, you know, came in and told me, you know, be very cautious about riding any types of rides that, you know, could flail your neck around because I have a, a C5, 6, and 7 uh, with a plate and screws and they've been fused together. So before we get on this ride, I say to my daughter, hey, this is not a roller coaster, right? Oh, no, 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 you know, this is just one of those 3D or 4D rides. Great. Well, we get on the ride. And within two seconds, this ride drops and spins to the, you know, banks to the left and then banks to the right. And within three seconds, it had stopped. It was kind of a, a little start to a roller coaster, but then it went into the 3D ride. So I didn't think anything about it. And about 30 seconds later, I look to the right and my daughter is in distress. I'm thinking, well, you know, what's going wrong? What, what, are you, you know, scared or something happened? And, you know, she's just, she's crying. Just not, you know, like big, you know, sobbing crying, but she is, you can tell something's wrong. And then I look kind of past her and, I, and my wife as well, she's concerned. And we get off the ride and I was like, hey, are y'all okay? Did something hurt you? Did, you know, what happened? And, you know, they kind of both looked at me and was like, oh, well, you know, we thought that you'd hurt yourself or that something had happened and we got really stressed out, we got really anxious and, you know, our stomachs are hurting, our heads are hurting. They were in distress. And at that moment when it happened, when it was all going on, they didn't even really know how to respond. They didn't know what to say. They didn't know how to express themselves. And I don't know about you, but I've been in situations like that where Things happen so fast or they happen so unexpectedly in things that you don't even know how to respond to. You don't know what to say. And even if you try to say something, you're not going to make full sense. Well, if that's going on in your life, and I'm sure it, it, it has and I'm sure it will, uh, turn to Psalms. Turn to the God's Word because all throughout Psalms, all throughout the Scriptures, you look at uh, Psalms 18.6, In my distress I called upon the Lord. Psalms 118.5, I called unto the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me. Psalms 121, a song of decrees. In my distress I cried unto the Lord. There's all these other verses. Of course, there's other scriptures about this. Of Come to the Lord, you know, all ye that are, are heavy laden and, you know, all those who are tired, come unto me. God says, come unto me and I'll give you rest. So if you have something going on in your life, that what happened to my daughter and to my wife there where it's unexpected and you don't even know what to say or how to respond, just go to God. You don't even have to really tell him all that's going on because he already knows. You just need to go to him and cry out to him and say, hey, God, I need your help here. I got something going on that I don't know how to handle. Or I don't know how to you know, make this work in the current circumstances. But don't sit there by yourself. Don't absorb it. Don't try to handle it yourself. Don't try to internalize it and, and say, oh, everything's okay. You know, I'll be okay. Everything's fine when it's not. Go to God. Trust in Him and see what He does. Because at the end, I was able to put my arm around my wife and my daughter and say, hey, you know what? It didn't hurt me at all. Nothing happened. It scared me a little bit because I thought it was a roller coaster. But after I figured out it wasn't a roller coaster, no harm, no foul, neck's fine. And that calmed them down. But you know, they were still a little uneasy for the rest of the day. They wouldn't ride that ride again, even without me. I said, nope, not going there. But I was able to confirm to them. I was able to give them something that they couldn't get on their own. And that's what God is able to do in our lives. 
something that we can't do for ourselves in our times of distress, he promises in his word that he will give us what we need. Now, as I close up, it might not be what we want, but he'll give us what we need. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I hope this has been encouraging to you. I hope you'll take it to heart. I hope you'll share it with others. And if I can help you in any way, or if you want to download the free program, the Modern Day Jonah program, you can visit handlinglife.org.